Well, hello there, this is L Skipper, and today in the 5 minutes or less, I'm going to explain to you the aerodynamics physics mode. So, let's jump into the video. So, the first big difference that you are going to encounter while using this mod are those lines that are going to be shown when you are trying to build something. And they are going to show you the center of mass of your vehicle. And as you can see, while by adding new blocks, you will see another center of mass. So it is something just to help you balance your vehicle out. The next thing that you are going to notice while building is, especially with any type of block that has slopes in it, is the yellow line and sometimes the green line. And as you can see in the hints in the upper left corner, it is the center of drag and the lift has direction. So it basically shows how the, the world is going to react to the block that you put. So this can either help you with your lift, you will have easier time going up, or it will help you with gaining downforce. So it you will basically go down faster. And now the moment that you will be waiting for. So if you are like one of the players who don't need any type of this stuff, basically press enter, F2, then you have go to mod settings, aerodynamic physics, and you can change everything. So for example, you can change the center of drag and uh, always off, gizmo falls, and now you don't have any. Of course, uh, another thing that you can do is put on the wind. So it is everything that you can change with the mod. You can, for example, uh, change the heat alarm, you can change the heat indicator, wind indicator, uh, hints, reset GUI, any type of the stuff, you just go into this menu. So after building your amazing uh, looking creation, you have to remember that you need a lift to lift up. Because as you can see, we only have one engine and it is a hydrogen engine, so we should be pretty okay because this craft is pretty light. But most of the time, in normal space engineers, you wouldn't have a vehicle that has only one engine. So, but with this mod, you can do it. Just you need to remember that you need a lot of lift. And as you can see, we have a tail. It is pretty simple design. It basically adds a bit of a up force and a down force, so it will be more stable. But we need fins over here. I think they are called fins. So you need to grab some type of a slow block, for example, the uh, two by one by one tip, or go like this and add it at the end. And add it at the end. Now we have a working wing. Let's just uh, give it uh, some color and let's see how it flies. Okay, so you have your design and as you can see, it is working. We are basically gliding through the air. The only problem that we right now have is that our wings are too small. We, not, we are not having enough lift in this aircraft. We have a rather big body and this is causing us, as you can see, okay, I'll, I will point on one direction and I, I'm not touching my mouth. As you can see, when you don't have enough lift, your vehicle will naturally fall down and we don't want that. So in that case, you probably need to, uh, to have bigger wings, more flaps and you should be fine. Okay, so I made the wings a bit bitter, bigger and as you can see, we are still falling down, so we still have a bit of a problem. Maybe adding having a bigger, a bit bigger tail would be a solution to that. Or having a better weight distribution, this also makes a difference. But as you can see, we are not doing it as fast. And by manually controlling it a bit, we can glide through the air. So if you want to configure this mod a bit more, uh, you can play, press uh, Shift plus F10 and some computers Alt plus F10. And in my case, it's Alt. And we, we have a mod settings over here in the top left corner. And going into aerodynamics physics, you can change some settings. So for example, you can change uh, the wind speed on your planet. You can change the physics. So you know we can basically disable lift. You can disable re-entry. Uh, you can change the heat generation because while moving you can generate heat. And I will show you what the daily re-entry is. So as you can see, I we are flying flying back to our planet. We are generating heat and as you can see heat level warning can i show it yes it is heat level critical and it basically means that you are generating too much heat on some places in the top left corner you can see side heat by building some lcds you, it it will clearly show you where the heat is generated but you just basically need to worry about it because if it hits too big of a level it will basically burn you can burn in the atmosphere or you can get damaged blocks it is easy to counter by, you know, just using your engines, maybe adding a parachute, maybe not going with uh, such a steep curve. So that would be all. Thank you guys all for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.